Dear sixth sem students, welcome back into my another video. Hope you are all doing well and hope you are preparing for your open elective subjects. Okay, this is another subject that is renewable energy power plants. Another open elective. Already I have uploaded two open elective subjects. Important questions that is uh, introduction to DBMS and also renewable energy resources. Now those who are having renewable energy power plants, they can refer these important questions, super important questions by which they can score not only pass. Okay, this is a scoring package. So better to prioritize these important questions, okay, which I will discuss here model wise. So without any wasting a time, let me uh, start here module first, where we have uh, six questions. Discuss the different types of energy sources, including the fossil fuels and nuclear energy. Differentiate between renewable and non-renewable energy sources. Explain the methods used for measuring solar radiation. And uh, they may ask you, suppose, uh, describe the instruments such as a pyranometer and pyrilometer, right? Next is discuss uh, how solar radiation reaches the Earth's surface and explain types of solar radiation. Describe the working principles of actinometer, bolometer and sunshine recorder with situatic diagrams. Explain the concept of extraterrestrial radiation and its spectral distribution. This is all about model first. So go through these important questions. Next is model second where we have define the following declination angle our angle zenith angle and uh, solar altitude angle azimuth angle these are the small definitions uh, they may ask you uh, five marks or sometimes six marks okay so next we have questions from model second here describe the working principles and applications of a flat uh, flat plate collector describe the working of solar pond and its use in thermal energy storage uh, discuss the construction and configuration of solar modules panels and arrays Describe the characteristics and classification of solar cells and here we have what are thermal energy storage systems explain their importance and types So this will be 10 marks question explain the principles of solar distillation and solar cookers and their applications Also 10 marks question they may ask you in the examination next is model third derive the expression for wind velocity and the power available from wind Compare horizontal axis windmills and vertical axis windmills explaining their uh, working principles and applications Define energy, plantation, biogas production in detail. Explain the advantages and disadvantages of biogas as a renewable energy source, right? So another four questions from model third are here. Describe the working and components of a typical biogas plant. Explain the process of biogas production from organic waste using anaerobic fermentation. Super important question. This may be seven marks. What are the major problems associated with wind power generation? Discuss the properties of wind and its significance in power generation. Next, we have explained the availability of wind energy in India and its potential for power generation. Okay, now uh, model four explain the concept of hydrographs and flow duration curves. So there may be also 10 marks numerical. Also video is available uh, on my YouTube channel. I will provide the link in the description box for this 10 marks problem that is hydrograph and flow duration curve. Very simple one. You should not neglect this numerical. Okay, these 10 marks are just in your pocket. So next is Define storage and pondage in context of hydroelectric power plants. Describe the general layout of a hydro power plant and write applications of it. Okay, 10 marks question, it will be over there. Okay, definitely. Provide a detailed classification of hydroelectric plants based on head capacity and flow. Explain the working of pumped storage plants and their importance in power generation. And describe the process of wave energy conversion and explain the technologies used for harnessing wave energy. Next, uh, discuss the advantage and uh, disadvantages of uh, using ocean waves as a source of energy. Explain how tides and waves act as energy suppliers and describe their and describe their mechanics. Module five, we have six questions probably. Explain the principle of working OTC and how temperature differences in ocean water are utilized for energy conversion. Describe the Rankine cycle and its application in OTC systems, problems associated with OTC. Provide an introduction to geothermal energy and explain the principle of working of geothermal power stations. Describe the different types of geothermal stations with the help of systematic diagram. Next we have what are the advantages and disadvantages of geothermal energy compared to other energy forms. Provide examples of geothermal stations in the world and discuss their performance. So go through these important, all important questions uh, and uh, 
try to cover uh, diagrammatic portions much more than the theoretical part later on you can understand the theory itself once you go through the diagrammatic part okay and in the examination try to fill your answer booklet first 10 pages should be diagrammatic okay so that you can get more and more marks so i wish you all the best for your examinations dear make sure you will share this video to your all batchmates and friends who are having need of it thank you Thank you.